Welcome. My name is Don Sol. I'm a professor at London Business School. And in this series of podcasts, we're going to talk about strategy as simple rules. Now, everyone knows, every manager, every entrepreneur knows that the world is very complex. There are a lot of moving parts. Things keep changing quickly. And the temptation in these circumstances is often to try to make a very complicated strategy to respond to a very complicated world. That's wrong. The argument we're going to make today and the approach we're going to talk about today uh, is around dealing with the complexity of the world with a simple strategy, specifically strategy as simple rules. Now, before we dive into our discussion of uh, strategy as simple rules, let's dig in a little bit into strategy. Now, there's been a lot written about strategy. The term's bandied about quite a bit and covers a wide variety of sins. But it turns out if you dig through the literature, strategy is defined quite crisply. It's about how you create value, capture it, and sustain it. And if you focus on the, cap the creation of value, which is the first step, of course, basically all the things that have been written, all the different ideas, all the different terminology can be reduced to three core logics of value creation. And we'll talk about each of those uh, to inform our discussion about strategy as simple rules. So the first approach is uh, value creation through position. So the idea here is you identify an attractive market, you stake out a position in that market, and you build high barriers to entry to keep your competitors out. Barriers to entry might be regulatory patents for pharmaceutical industry, for instance. Uh, might be economies of scale in the steel industry, for instance, which keeps competitors out. But the key idea is those high barriers to entry keep your rivals out and allow you to create value. Now, the military has also thought about uh, different views of strategy, and there's a military equivalent of this that illustrates positional strategy. And that's the notion of finding a high hill, taking that hill, and building a fortress around it, an impenetrable fortress with barbed wire and machine gun turrets out to keep all comers out. So the first uh, logic of value creation is positional. The second is the resource approach to value creation, often known as the resource-based view of the firm or uh, core resources. And here the idea is it's not about position. It's about having, controlling, owning resources that have a certain set of characteristics. First of all, they're rare. Not everyone has them. So you're owning them means something. They're valuable in the sense they create value for your customers. So think of a Kate Spade handbag or a Gucci handbag, for instance. People will pay a big premium for that bag because it has that brand on there. So that resource adds value to the, from the consumer's point of view. And finally, they're difficult to imitate. So competitors can't quickly build a brand uh, like a Kate Spade or, uh, or like a Gucci. It takes time and effort to build that. If you have a resource with these characteristics and you own and control that resource, again, it's very hard for competitors to uh, grab the value that you've created. Okay, so you've created value, and it's, again, you keep competitors out. So that's the second logic, resource base. Again, if you want to think about it, the kind of military analogy, just to fix ideas, it's around having better military technology. So think about the United States and the Soviet Union having uh, nuclear weapons and keeping other countries from having those weapons. The superior resources is the approach to strategy in that case. So these are the two common views of strategy, two common notions of value creation that everybody knows, position and resources. There is a third, and in some ways it's the most interesting these days. The third is what we call opportunity logic of value creation. Here, it's around seeing a gap in the marketplace, identifying an unserved customer need, and then assembling behind you the resources you need to pursue this uh, gap in the marketplace. So you don't own that position, you don't own the resources, but you create value to the extent you manage the uncertainty that's inherent in pursuing a new opportunity. And after you pay out for the use of those resources, you get to keep whatever is left over. Now, in, uh, in, in the, other views of, uh, the other views of logic creation, uh, to go back to the military, in the positional view, you win in the map room. In the resource view, you win in the storeroom. But in the opportunity view, you win on the battlefield. You win, think of the Blitzkrieg in the Second World War. Uh, with the uh, with the German uh, the German Panzer Army probing the French defenses, looking for gaps and swarming those gaps, pulling back and retreating when they hit massive resistance, and finally when they find a, a, a golden opportunity, finishing strong. The idea is 
in, in this opportunity approach, you get in there, you move, and you swarm the big opportunities when you see them and pass, uh, uh, pass by resistance when you hit it. Now this approach, this opportunity approach is of interest to a lot of managers and a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of companies right now because it's the approach that the underdogs use. If you don't have the resource or the position, you're forced to use it. It's the approach that brings growth. It's about seizing opportunities for growth and it's the approach that works best when you're in volatile, fast-moving markets. So the question on the table then becomes, if that's the approach that you want to pursue or at least in a portion of your business you want to pursue, how do you do it? Strategy as simple rules is one very practical approach to following this opportunity, uh, logic of value creation. And in our next podcast, we'll talk about strategy as simple rules as a means to seize opportunities, fleeting opportunities in a fast-moving, volatile market. Thank you.